Wow. <laughs> Every day is different. Now, I'm going to be showing you some scenarios in my life and the EDC that goes along with it. I'm Beef Mommy, I'm a content creator, esports host, commentator, and also doing production on the side. So I'm wearing a lot of different hats here. And so when I say work, it's kind of confusing because all of these different things might be different. The carry will be definitely different. And so speaking of a scenario, let's set it up right now. Let's just say I'm gonna be editing, writing, and maybe even vlogging my experience in a cafe. Also, I wanna go as far as dictating what the weather will be because in my country, the Philippines, the weather can be very much bipolar. So right now it is February. It means it's a little bit breezy. It's dry. June hits. It's actual chaos. So I have the Samsonite 16 liter backpack with me. I know it's a little bit pricey, but I needed something that was sturdy and that I could rely on, especially during long hours of travel. And this is definitely perfect, but also it has a nice strap in the back for me to put on top of my carry-on luggage. So it's going to be safe. It's going to be secure. I love this bag. Also in this backpack, you have two cup holders in the side. And so it's nice to put a mini tripod there or also my hydro flask. So yeah, here it is. It looks great. It's not too big, right? 16 liters, as you can see. Next up will be my pouches. And surprisingly, people don't really utilize SM department store too much. There's this department store in the Philippines called SM. And there's a lot of really good finds there that a lot of people don't know. So when I do shopping, sometimes I prefer to actually see the compartments compared to actually getting it online, just because I want to be sure that this fits and it's like true to the measurement. It has the compartments that I need for all of my chargers, my USB hub. And yeah, everything's here. Like I'm, I'm a Girl Scout. For my laptop charger, I'm just gonna put it in my old Audio-Technica pouch for my old mic. It's leather, I really, really like it. It's actually really sturdy leather, I think it's legit. I like to repurpose some things. I mean, I just don't wanna waste my money, you know? Also, I do like having things in pouches instead of putting things in the pockets of my bags, just because I forget that it's there. And I kinda change bags often, like again, depending on what I'm doing that day. Let's just say I have a production shoot the next day, obviously I'm gonna be bringing this Samsung bag because my camera's not gonna fit. My, my camera gear is not gonna fit inside of that. And so I need a bigger, chunkier boy. And so if I have a pouch, I just like transfer it over to the other bag. And if I do have other things inside of the pockets, I might forget that it's actually there. So for my laptop, I have a MacBook M1 Max with 64 gigabytes of RAM and two terabytes SSD. AKA a beefy beast of a laptop. I'm good for the next three, four years. This laptop is still very much good. And I always tell people, if you do want to buy Apple products, it's really great to buy them secondhand. So that is exactly what I did. I searched Facebook marketplace. I searched carousel and it's a good thing that I saw a very reputable guy that had such high reviews, bought this immediately because it was such a good price for the actual power that this laptop gives you. It being an Apple product, it is still pretty much expensive but I needed something that is powerful but lightweight enough for me to go bring around. I mean, one of the main reasons that I actually got this apart from editing is the file transfer from my iPhone, which we'll be talking about next. So I decided to stay with my iPhone 14 Pro and not really upgrade to the 15 Pro Max or 15 Pro just because I'm very much happy with it. I didn't see any point to move. I mean, it does have USB-C, which was the biggest like, you know, jump for me if ever I was gonna do the switch. It's just, I couldn't justify the price. And so this phone, it does everything for me. This is the must have ecosystem in my opinion, is to have an iPhone and a MacBook, especially if you're a content creator, because for me, I'm taking a lot of videos with my iPhone 14 Pro and the file transfer is so seamless. AirDrop is amazing. It's a godsend. Literally saves so much of my time and time is money. So for my tablet, I have the Samsung Tab S9 Plus. I absolutely love this device. Media consumption is amazing. Note taking here is amazing as well. I really am a fan of the S Pen. I usually write my scripts first handwritten before I actually type it down and formalizing the script. So this is how it looks like. I mean, it's just 
Hi, I'm using it as my monitor, which is so handy, by the way. This is my favorite feature of it so far. So I also have my paper-like attachment to it with my origami case at the back. It's two separate pieces and it's two separate purchases, both magnetic, so you can just like take it out Back. If you don't need this, then go ahead, it's fine. The tablet might become obsolete, at least for now, because I wanted to transition into more analog style of note taking. And so this will definitely be lighter, but I'm kind of scared to use it, not gonna lie, because if you write stuff on paper with a pen, it's there forever. At least with the tablet, you can go erase it and stuff, but I'm trying to eliminate as much distractions as I can. But for sure, this whole note taking journey will be in my next video. Next up is the Insta. 360 flow my favorite gimbal of all time it's simple it does its job the insta 360 app is absolutely amazing you can track yourself so as a solo creator it's a godsend it's compact but at the same time when you unravel it, it can extend pretty long and you can also double it as a tripod as well for my audio setup i'll have the dji mic which is definitely a very handy device form factor wise it's amazing it has a charging case it's clean organized everything that i need all the adapters go inside as well. The only thing though, I wouldn't want to bring this in a very noisy environment like a convention because audio can cut off even though I tried fiddling with the settings. It just didn't work out for me two times in a row. Okay, we're gonna take a pause when it comes to the tech stuff and I wanted to show you these three things that I love and I just put them in my pocket. All these items are from Astrid Leather. You should check out their website. It's so nice. A lot of really good gift ideas for your loved ones. First up is going to be my wallet. It does have an AirTag slot. I love the look of it. It's so clean. I do have two slots over here, one for cash and one for my cards and driver's license. I live in the Philippines, so cash is still king, but I still need to have a wallet that is slim enough for me to put it in my very small woman pockets. Also, Asher Leather offers engraving on their leather products as well, so that's a really nice feature. All of my leather products here do have BM on it. Next up will be my card holder case. I go to a lot of events or just in case I run into someone and they want my business card it's gonna go here i love the tan leather here and also the white stitching makes it so nice i love the contrast and the fact that my cards aren't just gonna slip i really like this little latch thing over here last but not least i also have my key organizer i can just easily unbutton that and reveal my keys i really like it it's simple you can also unbutton on the other side as well again before we go to the tech stuff i just want to quickly go through all of these things that i have in my bag that aren't really tech related my Tyso. Tieso? I don't really know how to pronounce this thing, but this thing is magic. It's a magician. Why? Look at this, right? Okay, you already know there's gonna be like something that's gonna pop off here, but I'm gonna show you. It's like, wow! <laughs> it literally says here, make wonderful life. I feel like that should be my slogan. Next up, this is something that I need and attaches to my keys, and it's my pepper spray. I think this is very self-explanatory. I am a woman roaming the streets of Manila. Next up will be my perfume. I don't know who I'm gonna run into. Maybe I haven't taken a bath that day. This is the Jo Malone perfume. This is the 30 ml Jo Malone poppy and barley. I love this cologne. It smells less, I can smell it on me. Again, it has to be travel size. It needs to be compact enough that I can bring this on the plane. Perfect for me. This is my life server, one of my most favorite things from the past year, Aquaphor. In the Philippines, you can try getting it in Lazada or Shopee, but kind of make sure that it's legit. I buy it in the States, I buy it in Target, I buy it in bulk because I put it everywhere, man. I put it on my face, I put it on my lips. I am a dry, cracked, girly, kind of sad sometimes. I don't experience that anymore because of Aquaphor. Also, really quickly, I need to have my lip tint. I look very anemic sometimes and people are concerned. And I swear, I'm just like, no, I just didn't get to put my lip tint. Next up will be my glasses and sunglasses. So I live in the Philippines and it's very sunny all year round. It's only very much wet or dry like what I mentioned a while ago. And in the context of the scenario, we're gonna be bringing our sunglasses. And of course, we're gonna be starting off with the gentle monster frames that I have right on right now. It's amazing. I mean, it's gentle monster. They have really cool designs and I really like this one. The moment that I wore it, I fell in love with it. It's a little bit pricey compared to other things that you can buy here in the Philippines, but hey, and I like quality as you can see over here in my EDC. If you have the means to, you can definitely check it out, but definitely try to catch the sale. I got this for cheap. I mean, yes, I love quality, but if I can get it cheaper, then I want to get it cheaper. Well, speaking of something that is not cheap, we're moving on to my sunglasses, which is these Pradas. 
I know, what a material girl, wow. <laughs> I honestly think this is not my smartest buy. My sister got these on sale and eventually she wanted to sell it to me at a more discounted price. For that price, I feel like I could have bought something else like tech related, but hey, it, it, it looks great. Statement, it, it's nice. I mean, it's just... <laughs> Product. Again, you don't need to have designer shades. Okay, so the last of these will be my shoe cleaner because I love sneakers and if there's dirt on my sneakers, I need to remove it immediately. For my audio, I do have two to choose from from time to time. I mostly bring my AirPods Pro Gen 1. These are pretty much reliable. They're so light and easy to use and it connects from my MacBook and to my iPhone 14 Pro very seamlessly. Not only that, it also has really good noise canceling capabilities and the transparency mode is superb. The only downside to this is the fact that the battery life is not that good. My next one is going to be the Soundcore Q30. This is what I usually use at home, but just in case I want to feel a little bit, you know, fruity, I want to be a little bit different that day, I do bring it out from time to time. It is pretty much bang for your buck. It's cheap, it looks good. It also has noise canceling. It's not as good as the AirPods, but it still does the job. Transparency needs to be improved as well. It's still very much muffled, and I just hope that in other Soundcore products, it's better. You can't really ask for much, it's cheap. My USB hub is the Bavin, and I just got this for a very very cheap price. I just saw it in the mall. I needed something to replace my old one because it was slowly dying on me. It's a little bit too big for my liking and I definitely want to upgrade this to the Anchor or the Uni. But unfortunately, the Uni is not really available in my country or it's super expensive to actually ship it all the way here. My quote unquote power bank is ridiculous and it's not an actual power bank. There's an asterisk on this one. So I do have the small rig 50 watt V-mount battery. Again, it's because I use it for my camera to power up my monitor to charge it at the same time I mean I still double it as my phone charger just because it's super reliable I love the look of it it's thin enough for me to put it in my backpack and travel around but if I do have a smaller bag it does get a little bit hefty so I plan on possibly replacing this in the future last but not least I do have my Samsung T9 SSD and yes you heard it right I have the T9 I just wanted to future proof so I was in the US while I bought this but I had to make sure it was the right time for me to be there because it was Black Friday and your girl went crazy on Amazon. And so yeah, I know it, it is kind of overkill to have a T9 right now just because I know it's really just more compatible with devices that has the USB 3.2. So if you don't have a device that has that, then it's basically a T7. But yeah, I mean, again, I'm just future-proofing my T9. I'm pretty sure a lot more devices are going to be more compatible for that next time. For now though, I would recommend the T7 or the T7 Shield. So that is it for my EDC. But before I go, always remember, Make wonderful life.